Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel. And I just wanted to pop in real quick um, because I have decided that I would give rice water a try. But um, I'm, I'll just tell you how my week's been so far. It's only been, this is day number four. So um, on the Monday, um, I decided that I was going to give this rice water thing a try so what i did was and if you hear paper rumbling it's my notes <laughs> so um i made rice water on saturday and what i used was one cup of water and two um i'm sorry one cup of rice to two cups of water and um i used um two tablespoons of lemon juice so what i did was um I soaked my rice first for like 30 minutes and then um, when I went to go to get ready to, uh, <clears throat> uh, oh I washed it basically, I rubbed, you know, rubbed my hands together to clean it and everything and then I re-soaked it again for another 30 minutes and then after that I rinsed it off again and then I boiled it and um, put the rice water or the rice and the water into a small saucepan and I let it boil and then once it came to a boil I let it cool off for about another 30 to 45 minutes and then I strained the rice and I strained the water first into a bowl and then um, some of it into my spray bottle now what I have found because I have been doing some research too is that um, I decided that I was going to use it as a leave-in, but I was so curious about the rice water, I figured, let me do some further research and watch a few more videos, you know, that kind of thing. So I watched a few more videos, and I noticed like some people were um, pouring the rice over their hair. I'm not going to do that. That's messy, too messy for me. I'd rather just spray it. So, um, and then there were people who, who used it as a spray. And then I was like, well, I wonder where, you know, it originated from. Well, it originated um, in China by the Yao women. And um, for them, the Yao women use it as um, a shampoo. Um, basically, they all they do is rice water rinses. And... Um, the women in this tribe of China, the Yao women, that's Y-A-O, um, what they do is um, they rinse their hair with the rice water every three days. And then, um, and I'm guessing during that time, because rice water needs to ferment for 24 to 48 hours if you're not going to boil it. So it needs to ferment for 24 to 48 hours, which is two days basically so you got the day that they originally rinsed the hair with the water then they let it make some more let it ferment for two days day three they're ready to rinse their hair again with with the rice water i also discovered that the reason why they use rice water is not so much for hair growth it's to keep their hair black and they like to keep it um, that color up until they're around the age of 80 years old. Now, and also, um, uh, during my research, what I found is that um, the hair does get really long, but that's because they only cut it once in their lifetime. And that's when they're around the age of 18, which is around the age of marriage for them. So, that's when they cut their hair and what they do is so say like like me for instance I have two daughters so at the age of 18 if I was Chinese if I was a woman of the Yao I would when my oldest turned 18 I would have her hair cut I'm, and I'm not and I'm guessing this is they only cut their hair once in their lifetime so that meant from the time of birth up until the age of 18 their hair has grown so they cut the hair it doesn't say like up to you know what certain point or anything like that and then they take the hair of their I would take the hair 
of my daughter and then I would incorporate it into my hair and what they do is basically they wear their hair in a ponytail the ponytail is usually high they wear their hair in a ponytail and then when they incorporate their daughter's hair they take that hair and they put it into their ponytail now not like we would do here by using a rubber band or or ponytail holder or something like that they put it into the add it to their ponytail and um, uh, wrap it in there with hair so it's still hair so basically you know you take it you put the hair in and you take some strands and you wrap it around there and incorporate it like that and and they wash their hair uh, very frequently so that's how they do it there um, and then when that child turns 18 she'll do you know when that child has a child she'll do the same thing to her daughter it, not just you know I, I believe it's just females because all they showed was females I didn't see any males in the video at all no males so I'm guessing that this is what the women of the Yao does so um, also and I'm sure a lot of people I mean some people might know this and if not well I'm gonna give you the information here there are two ways that you can make rice water one way is to boil the rice like I did you strain it now once you strain it the rice water when all that starch and everything um, is boiled out it's gonna be like really really white like a milky white but that's when it's at its highest concentrate that's the highest concentrated form of the rice water it has all the nutrients and it does contain vitamins too so it'll be like vitamin B I believe vitamin C and vitamin D but you don't want to use it when it's that highly concentrated okay what you want to do is is just take a few or a little bit of it and then dilute it with water and it should be like a, a they said it should be like a uh, almost milky white you know coloring which is how my rice water looks see that my rice water is not all the way white but it does have a milkyish whitish uh, color to it and so that's what I did so I did it correctly without even looking up any information um, the second way and I think the reason why they say don't use it like that is because it can, um, from what I understand, some people who just use the pure white, uh, rice water, the hair gets hard. And since I'm going to be leaving mine in, this was the best way for me to, uh, I'm using it as a leave-in. So this was the best way for me to do it by diluting it with water. Okay. So next, if you're going to ferment the rice, just use it you know just ferment it and get all of that you know starch and all of the nutrients off of the rice then you're going to rinse your rice rice off first like i said to remove any dirt or any impurities um then you'll place it in a bowl and you'll make sure that the rice is covered with water so the water has to be above the level of your rice um and you could probably still use um the measurements i use it just depends on how much you want to make i didn't want to make a lot lot i just this is enough for me I mean, but it did make a lot, though. Okay, so um, once you do that, then you're gonna soak it overnight, and um, as suggested, it's uh, 24 to 48 hours, but you can do it for just 24 hours, and, it, and it's fine. You're gonna strain it into a clean container, and then um, pour it over your hair. Now, if you're gonna just do it like that and just pour it over your hair, I suggest that you then, you know, leave it in for 30 to 40 minutes and then rinse it out. Because um, from what I understand, some people um, can get protein overload. Um, and I, in my opinion, I believe that's because it's pure, highly concentrated rice water that they pour over their hair and which causes them to because sometimes my understanding is that the water gets like the hair it'll make your hair hard using that rice water like that i haven't experienced that myself and i've been using it now for three and a half days because uh, i will be spraying my hair tonight so three and a half days 
<clears throat> um, but I haven't experienced any of that at all. But once again, I'm not just using rice water. I have set my hair, um, I braided this part, and I have set it using two-stranded twists. And I'm also using my Blue Magic, and I'm also using my Eco Styler Gel. Okay, so kind of like the um, like the LOC method, or you know, a twist style. But I believe, uh, from what I've seen, some people are just using plain old. Uh, they'll use water and whatever. I don't. I think water may be one other thing with with whatever their regimen is for their hair. Um, now the uses and benefits of rice water. Um, it helps to reduce pore size pores um, it could be used as a skin toner and it is mild for the skin it brightens the skin um, it also can be used as a hair mask and it helps to heal acne so it, I mean it has its benefits to using it I'm going to continue to use it but um I may switch up some a few things but first I'm just going to try to do it the way that I have been doing it um I was just gonna do it for five days but I changed my mind I'm going to do it for till this bottle is gone okay so I'll say probably for about another week which will make it ten days and then um, and then I'll wash and condition and I'll probably start the process over again and just see how you know see how that works out um, so that's my plan for my use of the rice water and I will try my best <laughs> to come on and keep you guys updated we, as we all know it's holiday season and it can get a bit uh, hectic at this time of year but I'll do my best to come and you know pop in every few days just to let you guys know um, how's it going you know what are my thoughts on it um, and see if there's any benefit you know, see if it's benefiting me. Now, I'm, I am trying to get my hair um, to grow. Um, so, stretched out this part here. Let's just take this braid. Maybe not the braid. Let's just take this part right here. Okay. I'm sitting up straight. And my hair is coming to about right here. This is where it's stretched out to. Where's this part? Um, see from the back, it's probably about the same. My hair is different lengths all over. This is kind of like in a bob like. This side is always longer than this side. Um, but let's just, I'm just going to see what I can do. See if I can see if I notice any hair growth. Okay, so here's my collarbone. Here's my collarbone right here. Okay, right there. So I'm gonna go here. My collarbone is here. It's like right here. And my hair, and I'm sitting straight. It comes here. My collarbone is here. So that's the difference. On this side, and I doubt if it's the same, but I'm sure it's real close. Nope, not at all. My hair. So right here, the stretch right here. My hair is a little light, it's gray, so it's kind of hard to see. Here's my collarbone. It's almost the same. Just a few, maybe a half an inch, a little less than half an inch off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that because I don't have, I still hadn't gotten my shirt that I was gonna use to measure with yet. Um, I just wanna get, through the holidays and be done with it um but um just like i said i just wanted to pop on here real quick and um uh, 
I'm sorry. It's gray hair. Um, but anyway, um, just wanted to pop on here real quick and let you guys know um, what I found out about some information that I found out about the uh, rice water. I will um, um, put down where I found the information. So there's a, uh, you know, you can go online to look. I'll, I'll leave that link in, in the um, description box below. Um, if you like this video, just please hit like, and um, if you will continue to watch me, just please hit subscribe, um, and let's just see, you know, how this all, you know, plays out with the rice water. I have some other special plans. Um, I'm just trying to get all my notes and everything together because there's some things I want to do um, to bring to my channel in the new year, and um I just, I just got to do some further research um, before I even uh, expose anything right now. So, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great evening, and I'll see you next time. Peace.